The Murray Club was formed in 2007 following a chance meeting between Richard Plowman and author of the book My Dear Murray, Barry Aldridge. The aim was to raise the profile and awareness of a relatively unknown Chichester hero, Admiral Sir George Murray. Murray was captain of the fleet and friend of Admiral Horatio Nelson. He played a key role in Nelson's victory at the Battle of Copenhagen. He was also Mayor of Chichester in 1815. Murray has remained in the shadow of other heroes of the time because he missed the Battle of Trafalgar as he had to return to England to act as executor of his father-in-law's complex will. To raise the profile and awareness of the Admiral, the Murray Club organised an ambitious programme of events leading up to the 200th anniversary of George Murray's election as Mayor of Chichester. The celebrations culminated with a visit to Chichester by the Murray family. The long-term aim of the Murray Club was to have a full-size statue of Admiral Sir George Murray installed in a suitable location in Chichester. Local sculptor Vincent Gray was commissioned to produce a maquette of Murray and Nelson to promote the project and help raise the funds needed for the full-size bronze. The maquette was completed in 2016. Fundraising then began in earnest to produce a full-size resin statue. The maquette uh, was designed some three years ago now after having a meeting with uh, Richard Plowman who suggested uh, an interest in having a piece of sculpture of Nelson and Murray in Chichester. Uh, that maquette is now in the assembly rooms and I have copies here that I'm using now three years on for scaling up purposes. Uh, money during that three years has been raised sufficient now to pay for my role uh, in the project and my role is the first in the chain. The next after me will be the foundry and also stonemasons. So regarding the scaling up, the technical process of scaling up, I have the maquette, I know the height of the maquette, I know the height the sculpture will eventually come. This then therefore gives me a ratio that I can work to throughout. I construct a tabletop arrangement over the maquette with calibrated legs. I construct an identical tabletop using that ratio over an armature, what will eventually become the sculpture, with calibrated legs. And then coming in with a pointer that is also calibrated, it gives me coordinates and informs me where I apply the clay. Now you can see here the clay is very well advanced and therefore I've deconstructed the tabletop. I no longer need that. What I can rely on for secondary measurements using calipers to check in detail and transfer those measurements onto the clay. When the clay is complete, and I'm using various experts to inform um, both uniform, uh, the sword, etc. So when the clay is complete, I will take a plaster mold off of the clay in order to then take a resin casting out of the molds. Crucially, come the day it goes to the foundry, I can transport the resin without too much worry because it's a durable material on the back of a lorry to the foundry. They go through their own molding process in order to arrive at a bronze. So there's an absolute logic in me taking a plaster mold and then a resin casting initially. And also there's an opportunity to work on that resin casting. Being a hard material, you can file it and fettle it and tool it and engineer it to a greater degree than perhaps you can on the clay. So every now and again I have to wet the clay down. And the reason for this is because I'm taking a plaster mould, which is hard, I want the clay to remain soft in order to get that plaster mould off. And this time of year, the clay dries out quite quickly. So I wet it down every now and again and at the end of every working day, put a damp cloth over the whole thing and then a plastic sheet over the whole thing to maintain that moisture. 
Having now cast Nelson in resin, it's an opportunity for me to offer the casting up against Murray to understand the dynamic between the two. But of course the purpose of having them cast, and Murray will follow suit shortly, is to get them out on exhibition in order to promote and further raise funds for the bronze casting. These then travel to the foundry in order for that process to happen. One step at a time, these go out on exhibition as resin to raise the funds for bronze. Admiral Sir George Murray is buried in Chichester Cathedral. Plans are well advanced to install the full-size resin statue in front of the cathedral on April 2, 2020. The date is significant, for it was on that date in 1801 that Captain Murray of the Edgar played a key role in Nelson's victory at the Battle of Copenhagen. Installation of the resin statue will also signify the final phase to provide a permanent memorial to a local Chichester hero. Fundraising will continue to finally cast our hero in bronze. Yeah.